Welcome to the HCH podcast, your go-to source for valuable free education tailored for short-term rental hosts, investors, and property managers. If you're looking to enhance your rental business, you've come to the right place. Visit our website where you can sign up for our newsletter and grab a free ebook packed with tips for hosts and property managers. Plus, explore our collection of resources designed to help you efficiently manage your rentals and deliver sustainable growth. If you want to support us, hit that subscribe button and leave a review wherever you listen. Your feedback fuels our mission to provide even more high quality education to our growing audience. For further details and updates, head to holidaycottagehandbook.com and make sure to connect with us across social media. Hello and welcome to the Holiday Cottage Handbook Podcast, the platform which helps you become the best and most profitable short-term rentals manager. I'm your host, James Farley, and today we'll be talking to another special guest in the property industry. Vanessa D'Souza Large is the CEO and founder of Sustonica, the first sustainability standard for short-term rentals globally. Now, our goal here at HCH is to share everything you need to know about buying and managing short-term rentals, whether you're a host, investor, or property manager to get the most out of our platform. Make sure you head to the website. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com where you can sign up for our newsletter and download our free ebook, which offers a comprehensive guide to buying and managing short-term rentals. Also, make sure you follow us on social media. We're active on Facebook, X, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. You can get all the links from our website, holidaycottagehandbook.com. Host Hub is a top rated property management platform for short term rentals. Host Hub can help you increase revenue, improve operations, and ultimately save you time and money. Host Hub has everything you need to manage your properties effortlessly and reliably. It will sync rates and availability across all the channels where your properties are listed, and it includes tools like automated messaging team management and expenses. It also includes smart pricing integration, task and cleaning management, and automated door locks. Hostub provides a zero double booking guarantee, 24 seven support with an average response time below three minutes, and a fresh and friendly interface that is easy to learn and use. And right now, Hostub is offering a 14 day free trial to any host or property manager who would like to try the platform. Head to hosthub.com forward slash HCH for further details. Before we speak to our special guest, I want to tell you all about HCH Financial Services. This is a new brand that specializes in providing access to the best holiday let mortgages on the market. Their team of award-winning brokers provide an unrivaled service. Whether you're looking for your first holiday let loan, a remortgage or a financial product like life insurance or will writing. The team can also help you secure a range of other products, including residential, buy to let and HMO mortgages, along with bridging finance and equity release. To get in touch with the team, call 033-1234-536 or email advice at hchfs.co.uk. You can also visit the website for further details, hchfs.co.uk. Thank you for listening to the HCH podcast. It's time now to welcome our special guest, Vanessa D'Souza Large, is the CEO and founder of Sustonica, the first sustainability standard for short term rentals globally. Vanessa, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the podcast. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much for having me, James. Cheers. Thanks. Happy to be here. And you've got happy to be hosting you as well especially happy because i know we've got a little bit of a cough and a cold today so we're we're especially grateful that you've hauled yourself off your sick bed to come and talk to us um so tell us then tell us about your story in the short-term rentals world because you've been involved in so many different projects and different businesses uh how did you first get involved in str and just tell us what led you to eventually founding sustonica well, so I have to go way back if you're asking me this. <laughs> it's been about 18 years that I've been in the short-term rental world. Uh, starting off by creating um, a short-term rental agency. in, uh, And we were in Rome. And we saw the potential and started off with two property managers, one in Rome, one in Venice. And from there, created this, you know, type Airbnb type agency online. And there was very few of us at the time. And now, obviously, it's very hard to compete with, with Airbnb and Booking.com, et cetera. But at the time, um, 
we did very well. We were, you know, we started to grow in Italy and then from one year to the next, we were international. We covered, I don't know how many countries, 10 countries. We had 8,000 online bookable listings, which sounds like nothing, but it was quite a bit at the time. And that went very well for, for about eight years or so. And, and then Airbnb came along and booking.com came along. And so the marketing money started to dry out because we couldn't compete with, uh, with the big boys. And so from there, how do you survive? How do you, how do you as a business uh, not throw everything that you've done over all these years? And so the move was, well, let's become a channel manager. So use the properties that we have and push them to booking.com, to Airbnb, who have uh, the marketing power, you know, the marketing dollar to, to get these listings booked and still make our commission. <laughs> so that was a, that was a, a good idea, I think. And as, uh, as it worked out for us, we opened it up for other people. And this is how Rentals United was born, as a, as a channel manager for, for property managers uh, all over the world. And uh, that was back in 2015 when, I, when we founded this. And we were the first, I guess. And Next Pax was at the same time in 2015. So it was just the start of the professionalization of, of property management and short term rental, uh, tech world, if you will. Um, because before that, you were like manually, you know, go and update your, your availability, your pricing. And we met property managers. They had teams of 20 people just doing that, you know. So we kind of, there was a need for, for, for child management at the time. And so that's what we grew. We were the first to connect to Airbnb, the first to connect to Booking, etc. cetera. And, uh, and I was a CMO during, during that time for about seven years. And I jumped out in 21 to start my, uh, my next project, which is Systonica. <laughs> so going back then, looking back, what did you learn about being a great host and a great property manager? What would your advice to people be maybe if they're starting out or maybe they've got a few properties and they want to scale uh, what are your top tips for hosting and managing so i meet quite a few of uh, property managers that are just starting out and i love their excitement about going into into the business and i always tell them look get your values right what do you stand for because it's a crowded market now uh, how to you know get the property owners to work with you so get your values right lay them out and communicate them very well what is it that you stand for what differentiates you uh, so there's a lot of talk about, you know, quality and, uh, and making sure that guests are good and, um, and, and I guess, uh, that you won't have problems, you know, as an owner, if you give it to me, you won't have problems. So there's quality, etc. And so value is very important. And then obviously getting your tech stack right, which you won't get right at the beginning. Clearly, you know, you'll make mistakes um, and you've got to be open for that. But the wonderful thing about the tech world today is that it's much easier to go from one platform to the next. So if you get your, you, I'll grow your PMS so or really it's not working out for you. It's not exactly the hardest thing to, to go to another one. Um, before it was hell. I mean, you know, it's still complicated. You know, you have to invest a few months and, and it's scary because your whole business relies on that. But, um, but it's easier to move. So I wouldn't, I would say, you know, pff, jump in there, choose one. It won't be perfect anyway. And don't worry, you know, you can change uh, uh, along the way. That plus get, obviously get your budget right. You know, as any business, you want to get your budget right. You want to get your predictions right. Um, and be realistic about, you know, how many owners you can actually get, get air DNA or transparent to get some market, uh, market uh, stats to make sure there's enough inventory that you can work. Um, yeah, I know I'm talking very much on the property management side. Yeah, I'm not on the owner side, but um, that's more more the world that I'm uh, I'm involved in than the owner world. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope you're enjoying this episode of the HCH podcast. To help us grow, I have a small favor to ask. Hitting subscribe and rating our show wherever you listen will help us to grow our platform and share even more high quality free education about the short term rentals industry. Also, if you have a friend who you think would find our content useful, please send them a link or direct them to the website. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. All right, back to the show. Tell us about starting Rentals United. Then you mentioned there you were kind of one of the first in the space when you started mm. out. Um, when you look back, 
Um, you kind of, what are your thoughts? And especially in terms of like how the industry has developed since then and how many similar solutions we have now. Yeah. So, I mean, we've really professionalized. The, the, the industry is really old. You know, I, I did this uh, campaign at one point at Rentals United and I explained that the first uh, short-term rental was the Palais de, de Versailles, you know, in Paris from Louis XIV, um, who used it as, as a holiday home. So the, you know, the industry is old, um, but it was way behind the hotel industry in terms of, you know, tech. Uh, we had like these dinosaurs of, 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 uh, of PMSs sitting there, um, uh, it, it was horrible. So property managers back then, uh, the, the clever ones, they would create their own their own tech, right? So you had lots of property managers creating their own tech and investing lots of time and effort in, in updating it, upkeeping it. So I guess 2015 was about the time when it kind of uh, became easier for property managers to get uh, third-party tech to to help you. And, um, and so we were lucky enough to be in, in that wave. And what was your question? (laughs) (laughs) What what are are your thoughts when you look back and then, you know, what do you make of the development of the sector since 2015 and the fact now that we have so many different solutions? So that we have so many different solutions for, um, Obviously, there was this boom, like everybody needed tech and, uh, and Airbnb, you know, as they grew, put us on the map of, uh, really a strong vertical, uh, a way to, to, to compete with hotels. I mean, before Airbnb, okay, there were a few people that knew that you can travel in apartments, but you had to find the right agency. You had to look on that. With Airbnb, it was de- democratization of, you know, the, the whole industry. So, so with that, obviously came lots of, young people, clever people, clever IT that wanted to, to come and help uh, with the problems that we have in terms of, uh, in terms of processes. No? So it was clear that this would get crowded, I think, uh, with, uh, with the rise of Airbnb. And as it got crowded, well, today, you know, it is very crowded. I don't know how many PMSs there are. Um, and I know that some are really struggling to survive. And there's also lots of acquisitions going on in terms of PMSs. Mm, will we see complete conversions? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think so because there are very much regional and, and country problems, uh, issues that each PMS can solve. Um, in Europe, you know, it's very scattered with all the languages that we have. In the States, from one state to the next, you have um, the issue with invoicing and tax. That is very different. So hard, hard to make uh, one PMS work globally, uh, I would say. And anyway, none of them are perfect. So, but yeah, that uh, is crowded for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how that that kind of part of the industry develops. RentalWise is a top-rated, all-in-one property management solution. It features a unified inbox and channel manager, helping you to seamlessly manage integration with OTAs like Airbnb, Booking.com, Verbo, and others. You can also use RentalWise to create your own direct booking websites and benefit from a host of leading integrations with companies like Stripe, Superhog, and Price Labs. Right now, RentalWise is offering a 14-day free trial plus free onboarding sessions. Head to rentalwise.com for further details. You mentioned it before then, setting up uh, your own new project, which is Sustonica. So tell us more about this. What led you to setting this up? And give us the elevator pitch for Sustonica. What do you do? Aha. Uh-huh. So Sustonica is the first sustainability certification for short-term rentals globally. Now, um, there's about 200 certifications for hotels in terms of sustainability. And, and there were none for short-term rentals in particular. So um, how did I fall into this? One, I've been in the short-term rental world for a long time, so um, I saw I saw there was a gap here. Um, and secondly, um, I've been uh, I was lucky enough to be brought up in a, an environment where sustainability was uh, important, important value, if you will. I went to a boarding school where we were taught, and this is years ago, uh, we were taught about recycling and diversity and inclusion and. Uh, composting and you name it. Um, so, so throughout my life, I've, I've had these values, uh, anyway, and I've been teaching my friends and family, um, you know, been vegan for many years, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, it, 
when I left Rentas United, it made a lot of sense for me. Plus, you know, we have some terrible news worldwide as to, uh, you know, where the planet is going. It's much more, uh, it's much more a topic uh, these days as it was uh, 30 years ago. You know, it's a common topic that people talk about. We see it in the news. Uh, we need to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels. Action needs to be made. And uh, in general, I think I'm, I'm a bit of an activist. And so it made a lot of sense to combine the three things, right? So one, I'm, I'm an activist. Second, I'm, uh, I live as sustainable. I try to live as sustainably as I can. And thirdly, there was no sustainability approach in the short-term mental world. So how can I bring uh, information to the short-term mental world and show them a path to, as to how you can be uh, more sustainable in your homes. And as a reward, you get a badge, you get a certification, helps you with your, helps you with your, uh, your marketing, you know. At the end, it's the, the badge is the reward. You know, my mission is that, you know, through us, we will reduce the emissions of the 10 million short-term rentals that there are in the world. And moreover, we, uh, we will influence the 450 million travelers that go through these homes to also uh, reduce their, their emissions and, and consumption, you know, because it's not just, we're not, we don't just look at electricity, we look at waste, we look at water, um, we look at uh, social elements and, uh, and soon we'll be looking at biodiversity as well. So, um, you know, there's lots happening in that field and there's lots we can do. But nobody, I think, until us, um, showed the industry what, what they can do, you know? And so th this has been my, my purpose in the last three years. My daughter, especially, who's five, she absolutely loves stickers and badges. So she'd, she'd be all over Sestonica, I'm sure, if, if she had a short-term rental, which I guess she does through <laughs> me. But so how, how do you get a Sestonica badge? Tell us about the, the process. Okay. Um, so it doesn't have to be scary. So the first thing that people think to get a sustainability certification is like, oh, I have to put solar panels up. I have to change uh, to a heat pump. I have to change my windows. Uh, it's constructual changes, right? So no, obviously amazing if you have those things and you do get rewarded for, uh, for it on our criteria. But no, there are also simple gestures that we can do. And as we all do them, um, it has a, it has an effect. So it has an impact. So we would show you our criteria, our standard, which differs from apartments to homes to homes with pool. And you would study it and have a look if you, if you comply. Um, in order to find out if you comply with a minimum of 20%, you would take the test and, uh, and then you will see, okay, I rank 22%. So I could, uh, I could try and get the certification. Now, how do you get a certification? You have to give us proof that you have what we want you to have, uh, in the criteria. So, um, it's part documentation where, for example, if you were, to have 100% renewable energy in your home, which is the most powerful criteria that we have. Um, and that means, you know, in, it's very easy to do. You call up your, or well, in most regions, it's very easy to do. You call up your, um, your energy provider and you say, I want to switch to 100% renewable energy. Now, as you do that, um, and the next invoice that you get that shows that you have 100% renewable energy in your home, uh, that you would upload to our dashboard, right, as proof. And there's maybe other documents that you are optionally want to put there in order to prove certain of our criteria. And then secondly, you have to go, and this is not optional, you have to give us a, you have to do a, a property tour. The property tour is GPS localized. So you go into your home and you take uh, the photos that we require. And uh, for example, do you have an induction cooktop? Yes, no. Uh, yes, take a photo. Do you have double glazed windows? Yes, no. Yes, take a photo, etc. As you submit that, all of this proofs that you've gathered about your home will get sent to external auditors. They are external to us. They work with Marriott's. They work with Hilton's. And they have accepted to work with us. And they then check this information and they give us the okay to issue the badge. And there you go. Within, uh, 
within, well, nothing. I mean, owners that register with that, they usually register in the morning. By the end of the evening, they've done their tour. And the next day, they get their badge. Property managers may take longer because, um, you know, they want to, uh, they need to speak with the owners or they want to change procurement. They want to change, for example, tell me if I speak too much. Huh? <laughs> if you want to interrupt me. <laughs> uh, Procurement, no, no, not at all. Uh, procurement, easy procurement changes that property managers can do, which are, uh, for example, you, you know, you, you buy toilet paper and you buy um, napkins and paper rolls, uh, t- uh, kitchen rolls for your clients. Well, instead of buying the instead of buying the normal products, you would buy recycled paper products. So larger property managers would do this switch of procurement and this may take them a while. Uh, also, you know, you could as a property manager and an owner, uh, make sure that the shower gel and the shampoo that you leave, leave behind is without microplastics. Um, again, this is like a procurement change. It may take a little bit longer to, to set up. So, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> so what are the advantages of having the batch? Yeah. Uh, well, one, it's, uh, makes you feel good. <laughs> uh, you know, you've kind of thought about your consumption of your property. You've gotten ideas as to how you can reduce it. And there's a real feel good factor to it, which is, you know, this is the feedback I get from, from our clients. Um, secondly, you can now say that you are in a sustainability program. Uh, to the world and that means for larger companies to your investors um, for larger companies as well to your employees which is very attractive to you know employ uh, today people look at the values that the companies have and um, and then in terms of marketing for everyone uh, we have a connection with booking.com so all of our vetted properties can appear as um, sustainable property on booking.com, which heavily influences the algorithm of, of, of the search results. And, um, and then you can put it on your website. So for your book direct efforts, uh, all increases trust, you know, and also, uh, we recommend, and this is part of the climate action that we'd like owners and managers to do is to print the certificate that they get with listing all the things that they do in this home in order to reduce the consumption and and have this for everyone to see for all the guests to see as they as they as they stay as they stay so mm-hmm. so how much does it cost and where do people go to find out more information ah uh, thank you well we have uh, when is this episode coming out <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I've got to, I've got to find okay. out. I've got to squeeze it in the schedule somewhere. Okay, so it was forty nine euros a month uh, uh, per property per year, but in first of April, uh, it uh, it went up um, to sixty eight euros per property per year. And uh, and how do you purchase it? How do you how do you find out? You go to sustonica dot com. Um, I encourage you to I encourage everyone to do the test first to say, you know, what, what we're after, what this is all about. And then it's a very easy process. It's a software as a service. So, um, you know, you can just do it yourself in your own time and, uh, and off you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Check it out. Sustonica.com. And for 68 euros a year, I would suggest an absolute bargain as well. You will feel better <laughs> about yourself because you're going to have a sustainable property and it's going to help to appeal to those guests who are looking to stay at an eco-friendly place. And we've seen lots of research recently suggesting that a lot more guests want to stay at somewhere that's sustainable. Mm, I think, yeah, it's not a fad and a, and a, a trend, you know, it's, this is, this is consumers in general are changing, right? So um, you're not addressing a specific niche here you're actually addressing, you know, most consumers uh, and it's not going away. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. It's, it's only going oh. to increase. So make sure you head to sustonica.com to find yeah. out more information and sign up and get that lovely badge for your, for your listings. Um, so Vanessa, tell us what are the simple things that hosts and property managers can do to make their rentals more eco-friendly? Okay. So I mentioned the recycled paper. Right. Um, the shampoo and shower gel without uh, microplastics is, I mean, our most basic uh, things. The most 
impactful thing, as I said, is changing your electricity to um, to 100% renewable. I mean, when when owners and managers, uh, you know, send us emails, we've changed 200 properties to renewable energy. Thank you. You know, I literally I get tears in my eyes. You know, this is real impact. Um, this is so important that we do it. And really, it's so easy to do. Um, and it's because, you know, I have to repeat it. It's our dependency on the fossil fuels that is uh, that is why we are where, where we're at. So we as people who own houses and live in houses, this is one action that we can take uh, and that is really easy to take. So these are kind of the three most low-hanging fruits, if you will. Then, you know, how, how does a... Today, when you travel, you think more and more people think about their impact as they travel. And as, as, as travelers, you know, the, the most impactful thing that one can do when they travel is to make sure that they spend the, their dollar uh, on site with people from the local community. So, for example, staying in a five-star uh, resort in Tulum uh, owned by a global corporation is, is not... A, a good way to travel. Uh, it's not a sustainable way to travel. The sustainable way to travel is to, you know, go to local people where the money stays with, in local hands. Now, we can encourage this, this sustainable tourism uh, idea as owners and property managers by creating guidebooks that encourages our guests to um, shop at local stores, to visit local heritage sites, um, to buy local art and and to also give back and this is a very popular trend now um, and here to stay which is do local volunteering work as you're on holiday so as property managers and owners doing the research for them and saying you know you can spend a morning um, uh, helping in a kitchen soup or going pick up uh, trash on the beach, etc. Go with your kids, you know. And it's a really lovely way of of giving back to the community as as you're there. So I think this is another very low hanging fruit. It's basically finding the right information and giving the right information to guests, so that they may travel uh, more sustainably. And you get rewarded for it in our in our standard. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And it's so important, isn't it, as as a host, as a property manager, to be a great ambassador for your local community, to be part of the community and to be involved in what's going on and, and supporting other local businesses as well, because that's that's kind of what, what we're all about. We're not necessarily like a hotel where everything's being kept within the hotel. People are going to the restaurant or the bar there. You know, we're openly saying, yeah. go to this pub, go to this restaurant, exactly. go and volunteer here. It's, it's just, just so, so uh, important. Sustonica is the first sustainability badge for short-term rentals worldwide. Its standard allows owners and managers to make their homes consume less and to encourage guests to support the local community. The process is fully digital and within seven days you can appear in the search results of OTAs, including Booking.com in the filter Sustainable Properties Level 3+. Find out more at Sustonica.com. What more do you think needs to be done throughout the short-term rentals industry to convince hosts and property managers and guests about the importance of sustainability? What more needs to be done? More education. Uh, so I'd like to give a shout out to Bob uh, from Environmental, uh, who is taking care of all of the educational parts to owner, owners, property managers, tech companies, uh, as to how to implement sustainability in their businesses and in their homes. Uh, he's taking care of that and he's doing a really, really good job. And this is this education part, right? That And thank you for inviting me. You know, being here is part of, of, of spreading the word. Um, and we need, you know, our conferences. I go to a lot of conferences. And um, two years ago, the, at the VIMA, which is the largest conference uh, of short-term rentals in the taking place in the United States, uh, there was not one topic, not one panel, when there's hundreds of panels about sustainability. And last year, uh, you know, they invited me for the grand opening session to talk about sustainability. And there was an extra panel about sustainability. So uh, this is what we need. We need to put it in the front of our topics, if you will, um, because 
it, it, we have uh, we're part of the tourism industry uh, and we have a responsibility as well you know we can't just uh, say well this is only hotel stuff <laughs> it's their fault uh, no no we're part of, uh, of of this world and we need to and we need to do something and we need to adhere to a standard so education education promotion as much as possible and obviously the big OTAs putting an eco certified filter in their in their pages is helping a lot right now we're waiting for the other uh, large boys to to do it as well and they're, they're quite way behind um shout out to them <laughs> um so yes, we're waiting for Airbnb, we're waiting for, for VRBO, um, TripAdvisor, et cetera, to also include um, um, these filters because then you kind of putting the focus on, look, there are other ways to travel. You can just, you know, click this filter and you, and you will find properties and owners that are, you know, inclined to be good businesses, not, you know, not over-consuming, air conditioning on and bring it on. <laughs> um, so, so, so that. Yeah, education and OTAs would be my answer. Short. <laughs> what What would you say to those hosts and property managers who say, "Yeah, I, I know sustainability is important and I want to do it, but it's too much effort and it, it's going to cost me more money." Right. What would you say to them? Well, I would ask them, "What will you say to your children when they ask you, uh, what did you do when it was still time? What did you do? Anything?" That would be my answer. You know, we, we, we don't have a choice. There is, there is a shift and there is a big shift in business in general, also uh, proposed by regulation, right, um, that we, we need to become better businesses. There is this massive shift going on. And, and this business shift will influence. Uh, for now, it's, okay, so rewind. The larger companies um, are going to be carbon taxed. Right. So you will need as a large company, um, disclose how much carbon you emit, how much CO2 you emit, uh, a year. And if you emit too much, uh, and, uh, and don't offset in the correct way, then, uh, then you will be taxed for it. Okay. So this is a real issue for the big companies, right? We're talking a lot of money. So they're getting ready and this is happening in 2026 in uh, most parts of the world. Um, especially in the UK and California and, and Europe in general. And so these large companies, what's going to happen is that they're going to very much look at who are they doing business with because this counts in their carbon calculation. So they want to work with companies which of which the carbon, ca the carbon is low as well. And so these companies in turn will need to work with other companies. So there's going to be this, this like domino effect, if you will, of, uh, you know, business are going to need to look at their carbon tax and go down uh, go down on their consumption. And in travel, we see it already today. Corporate travel has really changed. Corporate travel says uh, corporate travel will not travel. Ah, so who's sick now? Yeah, Did I, I know. Pass it? I'm thinking it's you. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, damn. Sorry. <laughs> Carry on. Corporate travel. Corporate clients, corporate clients, uh, they need to, they, they need to know how much their CO2, uh, expenditure will be for each travel that, uh, that the corporate does. And, and so soon they're going to be asking, you know, service departments for how much was the CO2 of that, of that stay of my, of my corporate uh, client. And so there you go. So this is like, you know, so you can't put your head in the sand. This is ridiculous. I said, well, yeah, we'll see. No, no, no. It's, it's not like that. It's happening. It's really happening. <clears throat> yeah. I think, um, I was thinking about this earlier and I was talking to somebody about, uh, kind of net zero and all this kind of thing. And, you know, I think future generations will look back and say, you know, you guys, you knew there was a problem but you, you didn't do something about it. And that, that's just unforgivable, isn't it, okay. for, uh, for future generations? Arana Stay is a digital welcome guide and concierge which helps short-term rental hosts and property managers engage and amaze their guests. Use Arana Stay to give your guests all the information they need to know, easily communicate in 107 different languages, and promote both your local area and nearby businesses, including upselling opportunities. Head to aranastay.com today in order to elevate your guest experience and increase revenue.
All right, then, Vanessa, we've got a few questions to finish. So tell us your favorite brand in the STR space, apart from Sustonica, of course. Ah, uh, the favorite brand. Oh, my. That's, that's, that's not nice. I have so many friends with so many brands. <laughs> Come on, you're going to have to upset a few friends. I'm sorry. I have to pick one. Um, you can pick a I, couple if you like. I guess. I say, yeah, and he's going to be very happy about that. Uh, Enzo Connect. Enzo Connect would be my favorite brand at the moment. I think they're very cool. Very, very cool. All right. Enzo Connect, lovely shout out there. Uh, an individual in the STR space that you'd like to give a shout out to and why? Um, Cristina Carpini. You know her? <laughs> she, uh, I'm, I'm sure I, I think I've seen her on LinkedIn I, I don't know her personally yeah, she, she's I'm amazing sure will she, she was working for a very for a very large property manager and decided that uh, she wanted to create her own consulting firm because uh, she was very successful at what she was doing and uh, and she's done that with uh, you know a lot of courage and she's putting them in this amazing team now and um and I think that she's going to do extremely well and she's lots of good advice. Yeah, yeah I think she's power, powerhouse, powerhouse woman. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Great shout out for, uh, for Christina there. And finally then, your number one lesson learned since founding Sustonica. Number one lesson learned. Um, there, you sh- well, mm, hang on. The, the best thing about being an entrepreneur is when you have um, is when you have a, a a mission that is um, bigger than just making money. Translate that into you know, if you are a business owner today, um, do something good for the world as well, and that makes you feel good. Yeah, uh, it's a very it's a very good feeling waking up in the morning and knowing you're making an impact. <laughs> Making a difference, yeah. making an impact. What a great way to finish. Uh, Vanessa, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a real pleasure. Cheers. Thanks so much, James. Cheers. Great to speak to Vanessa de Souza Large from Sustonica. Make sure you check out sustonica.com for information about how to get that all important badge for your short term rentals. That's just about it for this episode of the HCH podcast. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you've heard, you can help our platform massively if you subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. For more free education, tips, and trends related to the short term rentals industry, head to our website where you can download our free ebook and sign up for our newsletter. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. If you need any mortgage support, make sure you check out HCH Financial Services. Their team of brokers have access to the very best holiday let products and can also help with other property finance. Give them a call on 0333-1234-536 or email advice at hchfs.co.uk. You can also visit the website for further details, hchfs.co.uk. Finally, if you'd like to get in touch with the show, you can email me directly, james at holidaycottagehandbook.com. That's it for now. I'll speak to you soon.